what's up everyone welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video i am so happy to be here to share some of my thoughts about this particular subject of how to stay motivated and how to use motivation to reach your goals and to reach success but before i get to that i want to tell you guys a little bit about my patreon that i started not too long ago this Patreon is beautiful because it's for people who are very interested in business and finance and the stock market and anything related to growth from a financial perspective. I believe I'm the person that can help you with that. I do it all from a Christian standpoint, a Christian viewpoint, because I don't believe in getting rich, but then having bad character. So I have accomplished a level of success from making well into the six figures to operating and owning multiple businesses very heavily involved in the stock market. I also own real estate. And so I have had a level of prosperity and success in certain areas. And I want to share that knowledge with you, but it only starts when you join the Patreon. So the link to that is in the description. It's also in the first comment. Now let's get to the video today talking about the three motivations that I use in order to reach success. The first motivation that I use is I'm God motivated. What does that mean? It is my desire and it is my plan to live a life to where God is proud of me. I believe that God put me on earth, not just to have fun, I believe that God put me on earth, not just to fulfill my desires. I believe that God has put all of us on earth in order to accomplish a purpose. It's something that he has planned for us that he wants us to do. That by far is my biggest motivation. I am very cognizant and I am very conscious of the fact that one day I will leave this place. One day I will close my eyes and take my last breath. And I believe that I will have to stand before God and give an account of my life. And I want to make them proud. That don't mean that I'm perfect. That don't mean that I make every right decision. But I'm truly striving to achieve success so that I can say, hey, all the potential and all of the greatness and all of the purpose that God has put in me, I'm using it. I gave everything. That is by far my first motivation. My second motivation is I want to enjoy life. I want to have success and enjoy life. Literally, my retirement goal is to retire somewhere in Hawaii and the Caribbean and own my own little piece of sand. And every day I get up, I can go outside on my balcony and see that ocean. That's very important to me. It's peaceful to me. And that is how I want to live the end of my life. I don't want to be a greeter at Walmart. I don't want to be an Uber driver. I don't want to be cleaning hotel rooms because I did not make the right decisions with my money in my 20s and 30s and 40s. I'm telling y'all, all these places me and Ashlyn travel to, Ashlyn is my wife, by the way, all these places we travel to, and when I see older people working at McDonald's, when I see older people reading at Walmart, and I see older people cleaning the hotel beds, I ask them, I say, hey, you know, how did you get to this point? My, now, now, I don't do it in a way that's like disrespectful, but I just ask them questions about their life. And one lady just straight up told me, she said, baby, don't make the same mistake I did. Take advantage of your youth. Don't waste it and be wise. And I take those things to heart. So my second motivation is I truly just want to experience and enjoy life. When I fly on the plane, I want to fly first class. When I drive the car, I want to drive the best of the best cars. I desire comfort as I get older. I want to have the best health care. I want to have the best experiences. When I have kids one day, I want them to go to the best schools and the best colleges. And I know in order for that to happen, I have to reach a level of financial success. Now, the third motivation is something that I always laugh about, but I have to be honest about. My third motivation is I want to win because people said that I couldn't. I know that some people may not think that way and some people don't believe in being negatively motivated, but it's not my main motivation, but it's in me. It's in me. I look at people like Michael Jordan and his stories about Michael Jordan, how 
when he had won three rings in a row, he would have to make up stories in his head in order to be motivated. He was dominating so much that he would get on a basketball court and whoever was guarding him, he would make up a story in his head about how this person was talking trash to him saying that he could never score 50 points on him. And he would motivate himself by making up stories. And not only making up stories, he will hold firm and hold on tight to when people said he couldn't do something. I don't know about y'all, but I still remember the people that when I first started pastor and told me that I was too young and that I could never make it. I remember people who were former members of my church who told me that my church would never stand if they didn't tithe there. I remember people who told me that it was no way that I can make over six figures. I remember it was people who told me that nobody would sign up to join my Patreon because nobody would pay to hear you talk. I remember people and people still to this day who said things, said I couldn't do it, said it was impossible. And I keep that as a negative motivation. I'm not saying this is right. I'm not saying that it's for everybody, but I'm telling you, it's a part of me that wants to win because people said that I couldn't. And them same people, when you win in front of them, it gave me a sense of satisfaction. So remember guys, there are three ways that I reach my motivation. First of all, 90% of it, God motivated. Want to make him proud, want to do the things that pleases him. The second thing is my personal desire to have a great life. And the third thing is I want to win to show the people who said that I could make it and that I wouldn't make it without them. And so drop in the comments, what are some things that motivate you? And let me know because I will be curious to see that. Once again, remember, if you want to become a member of the Patreon, the link is in the description, also in the first comment. Have a great day.